In this video, you'll see how you can use Informatica Rev to quickly and easily prepare, blend, and upload your external data into the Salesforce Wave Analytics Cloud. To get started, log into Wave, go to Create, select Dataset, and single sign on to Informatica Rev. Once inside of Informatica Rev, click on the button to create a new project. You can then select what kind of external data you want to load into Wave. In this example, I'm going to load data from a recent trade show that we attended. We now see the data loaded into an Excel-like interface, and we also see some profile information about the data at the bottom of the screen. I'm now going to start preparing the data for load into Wave. Let's start with the field named expected usage, since I'm expecting that people are going to want to slice and dice based on that field. By clicking on the field, we see all of the different values that are contained within the data set. Inside of Wave, I don't want all of these values, and instead want users to be able to slice and dice just against three categories. Soon, for anything that'll happen within this quarter. In the future, anything outside the quarter, and unknown for customers that did not specify their answer. So for the values for one to two months, I'm just going to recategorize these as soon. For those six plus months, I will be in the future. And for three to six months, again, that's outside the quarter. So those will be categorized as in the future as well. I'm also expecting that users will want to slice and dice by customer state and customer zip code. By clicking on customer state, we see that we automatically recognize that the values in the data set look like a US state for this column. So I can now validate that these are all real valid US states. I can do the same for customer zip code. We'll notice here in the first value that the leading zero is actually missing from the data set. But by clicking on standardizing to five digit US zip code, we see that the value has now been replaced by a valid zip code. Now, before I upload the data into Wave, I also want to blend or join the data with the Salesforce Opportunity object so that we can find out who attended the trade shows that already have open opportunities assigned to them. To do that, I click on the Import button and select Salesforce. I'm now going to choose the Opportunity object and click Import. And we now see that a new sheet has been created with the Salesforce Opportunity data. To blend or join the data together, I click on the Blend icon and select Combine Sheets. We ha now have a third sheet that was created that represents the join between the two sheets. Right now, we are doing a full outer join across both data sets, but if I only want to bring in the data where the row matches in both data sets, I select rows matching both and select combine. Because Informatica Rev automatically profiles the data when it's being brought in, it knew how to automatically identify the join criteria and has combined the data here in this sheet. Before uploading this data into Wave, I will rename my sheet to the name that I want the data set to be called inside of Wave. and I now upload directly into the Salesforce Analytics Cloud. If I now go back to Wave and click on Datasets, we'll see that my dataset was just created. 
If I needed to do any further preparation of the data, I could do that by using a whole host of other capabilities available to me inside of Informatica Rev. For more information about this, you can go to the right hand side of the home page where you'll see additional videos or simply go to rev.informatica.com.